Okay, I don't know exactly how to say this, but my mic has been disconnected from my recorder for, well, the last that I recorded, but the next also. The next three videos, I have to voice over. So it's not going to be, like, in time. So I'm going to try my best to voice over, but I recorded these videos, like, two weeks ago, and it's literally the worst thing ever. So, yeah, so I, so we're doing this quest called Under Ice, which I probably, at this point, was talking about how, no, I have done this one. Frostbite is the one that I haven't done. I think I'll just, like, skip to when I get to Nemrak, because I have no idea what I was saying here, and, like, yeah, I'm in for a lot of editing here. For the first half of this video, I have the um, computer audio turned off also because I was doing an update video and I forgot that I had it turned off. So, yeah, I'm like voicing over this and just listening to a complete silence. So, it's great. Here, I was talking about like how the area discovered things have like the, just like the names. It's just like... Nas Nasak Plains, like, northeast or whatever. I was also talking about how I don't know how to say it, so I'm going to start saying Nasak instead of Nasak. Okay. In the center of the unnaturally frozen forest lies the small village of Nasak. Their main source of food is ice fishing. Yeah, I was talking about how the, the double A's, like, they don't have it in English, so I was like, well, oh no, like, what do I say? Like, what language is it supposed to be in so I can understand how to pronounce it? So I was just like, well, we'll do Nasak, because why not, honestly? <laughs> so, under ice. So, I know where the NPC is, because I've done this quest before. Um, and Fredris... I was just going to call him Freddy. So we're talking to Freddy over here. I'm having trouble with the fish in our lake recently, and I'm sure the problem lies within the lake itself. I would like to commission you to investigate, but since it's freezing cold in our lake, you need something to protect you. I heard the people in Maltic on the coast of Wynn have something that can help you. Would you mind coming back with a breathing helmet one? I think that should be everything you need. So, I have the Breathing Helmet 1. It's probably in my bank. I don't know what I'm doing here in my bank. I'm just, like, scrolling back and forth. So, I found the, the Breathing Helmet. I'm just, like, looking around, I guess. It's, it's probably, like, when you walk into the room and you forget what you're, like, trying to get. And then you... Yeah, so that's what I basically did. Like, I forgot what I was trying to get. So, I was just, like, absentmindedly, like, scrolling through my bank. Um... Alright, so I'm going back to Freddy with the breathing helmet. What is this thing supposed to be? You know, I would really appreciate your help, but this breathing helmet, one, does not look like it's going to keep you protected. Would you mind heading to our local armor merchant and buying one of our breathing helmet, two? I don't want you to drown. Just come back with the helmet and I'll tell you about my problem. And I was, like, really upset because he took my breathing helmet, one, right? He just, like, told me to go buy another one. Like, he could have, like logically left me my helmet and then told me to buy another one but I could have had both of the helmets like why do you have to take my helmet away from me he's not like go upgrade your helmet with your other helmet no he's just like go buy another one and like what the heck man like you could have let me keep my helmet I spent a whole quest trying to get that helmet it's like go all the way to the pigment ravines and kill some people honestly and then he's like, have you found the issue yet? I'm still waiting. And then, he, like, he he said, come back and I'll tell you about my problem. And he didn't tell me about the problem. He was just like, like, he assumed that I would not talk to him and then go find the issue anyway. So I was like, what? You gotta be better at, like, communicating your issue, okay? Honestly. Um, so I go here. I go in the water. Um... Yeah, and then there's this cave. Go in the cave. It's pretty simple, I would say. Um, there 
are some baddies to kill. They're squids. I realized that in a couple seconds. Uh, why did I go back to that? Oh, I thought that was a depressed, um, depressed shears. Because I thought I should collect those. Like for when I do that Bob's quest. Oh, and then there's this guy that's like, like, what are the odds? I turned off Player Ghost, and there's this guy in my world that is doing the exact same quest at the exact same time. So we just see him wandering around. It's really no big deal. He just kind of is vibing. Um, uh, yeah, so I was like, oh, they're squids, huh? And then we, um, after I kill their, um, they're kind, I wander into the squid village, which are called nodders. I guess that's how you say them. And then there's squiddles, which is my favorite NPC name. Have you seen that weird structure near the lake? I heard of quite a lot of stories about it, but nobody is sure what you can find there. And I was like, hmm, no, I haven't. There are plenty of weird structures near the lake. But And then I was like, what? what what quest is this? Then I realized that that wasn't the quest NPC, and then the quest NPC was over here. His name is Calamaro. Uh, who are you? You don't look like one of those villagers we stole the f Wait, they didn't send you to retrieve their fish, did they? For years we let them, oh my gosh, share the lake with us, the annual inhabitants of it. Oh, actual. <laughs> we were modest and took what we needed. We let them catch the rest. But then they went too far. They caught too much. I'm, like, out of sync with my mouse. I hope you can ignore it. But, like, we didn't have enough to eat. We were forced to steal their fish. We would have starved otherwise. And now they want their fish, our fish, back. We can't do that. I hope you understand. However, we don't have to fight over the fish in the lake. We just need a mythic, everlasting puffer fish. That would be enough. Nothing else. We never wanted to steal the fish. If you want to help us and the villagers, just follow the stream that flows into this lake to the south. You will find the best fishing ground there. The pufferfish should be around there too. So now we are off to the stream leading into the lake to the south, I guess. That was a, um, a very specific description there. Um... Yeah, I was like, for some reason I could not figure figure out what it was talking about, but um, yeah, I figured it out eventually. <laughs> After wandering around for a couple minutes, what the heck? <laughs> I wonder what I'm I'm saying here. I wish I. Uh, like, I don't even know why my mic disconnected from the recording thing, but, like, I w just was editing the videos, and then I was like, this one has no audio, and then I realized that every single video I recorded for the last week <laughs> has no audio, or, like, no, like, me talking audio. Um... Oh, you look a bit lost. Let me help you. I've lived here for a long time, and I know every corner and every snowflake. You're searching for a mythic, everlasting puffer fish? Hmm, I heard that name before. My friend Strato told me about it years ago. If I remember correctly, it is infinite. You can feed every single person in all provinces from this single fish. Sadly, Strato is no longer alive. He used to work and live in the woodcutting camp northwest of Nassau. We always met here, caught fish, and told each other stories. I really miss those times. Maybe you can find some sort of bait there. He had some of the best bait I've ever seen. You should be able to acquire some and throw it in the water. Maybe that will attract the puffer fish. Can I ask you something? As you might see, I'm not the richest guy or the youngest. If you manage to catch that fish, could you hand it over? I know we just met, but you seem like someone who would help an old man. Wow, past me really does not read very fast because I don't know what I was saying that I um, oh maybe I was talking about how 
It says you can feed every single person in all the provinces from the single fish. So why don't we? Like, like why just stop at the village and the lake people? Like, why not feed every single person? I, I don't get it. And then I was talking about this man wants me to give him the fish. He does. He doesn't know why I came looking for a mythic everlasting puffer fish. He doesn't know who told me about it. He's just like. Like, yeah, you came here looking for it first, but would you mind giving it to me? Okay, hundreds of years ago, the people working at this mill died in the war. Even after the land was frozen over, their bodies still hunt those who draw near. So I'm trying to find this guy, this strato guy, or the bait or something. I don't really know what the guy told me to look for. Um... And then he's in here, Strato's soul. So I kill the soul, obviously, because that's what we do around here. Um, we get the shallow diver, which I guess is a word for bait. I don't know. I'm not really a fish, <laughs> a fish, a fisher. I'm. I don't really fish at all. I know next to nothing about fishing, but you know, it's fine. Um, yeah, so then I head back to the guy, and I was like, oh, don't worry, I'm not lost. I know exactly where I'm going. Um, and then I missed it by, like, a hundred blocks. But I figured it out eventually. Um, except there are, like, all those mobs that I'm choosing not to kill, and I'm just, like, getting, like, beaten to death here. Oh, and then I leveled up okay. So that's fun. Um, yeah, and then I go back here, all is well, um, I could have sworn I turned on the, the sound, I think here, somewhere around here, um, oh, I accidentally talked to him again, I was like, mm, that's not good, because if I talk to him with the pufferfish, it'll automatically end automatically end the quest. These penguins are attacking me and I just got knocked into the water which was fine um, but mildly annoying also. I wasn't really sure what to do with the bait and I was like hmm like what do I do with this? Um, so I threw it in after figuring it out um, it disappeared, then there were these particles, and I was like, huh, they're not making any noise. Um, and he's talking to me, just look at those fish, I told you they love this bait. There it comes, the myth mythic everlasting puffer fish. Meanwhile, I don't know where the puffer fish is. Uh, and I was like, like, was it supposed to come out? Like, I didn't see it anywhere. Um these boots, I don't know where they came from, like, it's not here, where's the puffer fish, like, what happened, this is kind of weird, and like, it's not here, did I break the quest, yeah, and then I was just like looking for the fish, and I'm like, I can't find it, so then I was like, well, I guess we have to go get another thing of bait, so here we go, killing this guy's soul again, I don't know how it came back the first time after I killed it, I feel bad having to go in and brutally murder this guy's soul twice, um, but it's fine we got the bait, like, why should we care about someone's soul anyway, because we need a puffer fish that we are um, going to selfish selfishly keep in the Nasak area so no one else can reap the benefits, but, you know, okay. Um, so this time I get the aiming right and I go back to the house without running into a bunch of mobs. So I go there, throw the bait in the water, um, it splashes around for a while. I already read what this guy said, but um, I'm looking for it again, I'm like, what the heck, and then I see it swimming around in there, and I'm like, mm, okay, and then I chase it, uh, and where'd it go, it 
sunk, apparently, I guess. I mean, with infinity pounds of food, I suppose it would be quite heavy. And there's the sound! There's the sound! Good. I was like, I was like, when am I going to turn on the sound? There's the sound. It's quite quiet, but that might be because my computer volume is low. Um, yeah, so, so then we go. This guy, I don't even know what this guy is doing because he just, like, gave me the quest and then, like, I didn't even talk to him again. He was kind of rude in the first place, though. Um, yeah, so I go down and... I really should just teleport through this cave because I don't know why I'm wasting my time. Yeah, there I go. I guess maybe I'm trying to like grind for some XP, but it's fine. Um, yeah, so I make my way because I decided I'm giving the fish to Calamaro because his goal of feeding the villagers and squid of Nasak a lot more selfless than just wanting it. I was like, this guy is probably going to sell this fish and then it'll like hide away in some barrel somewhere. Uh, you found the puffer fish. Who would who would have thought such a small thing could solve our problem? I will start bringing back the fish immediately, but first we will have a nice hot soup. Please take this as payback for your services. You can trade it in at the shop right over there. It's hard to miss. I will give you a last advice. You don't want to eat that slimy fish. Um, and then I, obviously, I tried to eat it. Um, and then he was talking to me. And I was like, hmm, I'm trying to eat it, but I can't eat it because of game mechanics. Um, so we go up to this guy, selling some weapons. We really don't have anything else to get except for a staff because we can't use anything else. You can't multi-class in this game like D&D, so, you know, makes it simple, right? Uh, so we get the staff. I'm comparing it to my staff because I didn't know if I wanted to use it, and I decided not to because, um, well, it does the exact same amount of damage, I think, and I just thought it was easier to use. But I might have used this one for like the rest of this episode. Um, yeah, so we uh, go and we talk to this guy and he's like, Oh, you're done with whatever you were doing? I heard you ran around the whole place. I didn't know if you were the right person to ask for help. I'll just ask the next one who comes around. No need to have you run around all day. Thank take this. I appreciate your effort. So he's like, I didn't even... <laughs> Like, I didn't, I didn't even help him. Oh, he has to say that because if I had helped the other guy, then the, their problem wouldn't be solved. But I did solve their problem, so, but, and he didn't acknowledge it. He's just like, well, you were the wrong person. I'm like, no, I actually helped you. You're just too stupid to realize it. Okay, so, <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um... And I'll see you in the next one. Sorry that this is like a voiceover. But, and the next two will also be like that, unfortunately. But thank you guys for watching anyway from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry that this is so weird. But, yeah. Thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.